Welcome to the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. I'm Joshua, and this is my brother and co-host Eli, and this, this is Podcast. <laughs> Well, how's your week been, Josh? Uh, you know what? Uh, not bad. Uh, got back up on the horse, started riding the book again. I so you um, don't do horse riding. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I just had an awesome idea. What? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did start writing the book again. <clears throat> you remember from a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that one my the the file that I was writing on got corrupted and I lost like five chapters and it was really disheartening it was really hard for me to pick back up to pick it back up and so this week I was like I'm gonna do it and that's what I did I started writing again um, so I've regained at least one of the chapters back um, good and you know what honestly it may have been like a kind of a blessing in disguise uh, because I was having a hard time getting through the chapters I was writing, and now that I've taken some time off and I'm coming back to it, I'm feeling a little bit better about what I'm writing. Okay. So, other than that, you know, it was kind of a uh, an average week. You know, we didn't do a whole whole lot. Uh, we uh, well, we did a lot yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we did a lot of filming of extra content. Now it's not coming out all at once, obviously. If you looked at the channel we only put out one video yesterday um, and we're gonna put out maybe two today I think um, and then we're gonna put out definitely two tomorrow um, and we'll explain that in a little bit but we, we did a lot of filming and that was just so that we could um we could have a lot of content to work with over the next week um, we're gonna try to do that a lot whenever I have days off we're gonna try to fill it as much as we can with as much as we can mm -hmm. so that there's always stuff for you guys to be interested in you know because not everybody likes everything we put out so we're hoping that we can always be reaching to different audiences um and it's not just and it's not just the stuff we because right as of right now all that we've had out so far is the podcast this is podcast this is minecraft and this is swordplay yep. um soon within the next couple days we'll be introducing the first this is music um, within a week, I think we'll probably. That's probably when it's gonna be. It's gonna be our first. This is classic movies. This is classic movies. I think it will be next week. Um, so we just we're gonna keep trying to put it all out. Keep trying to do things um, for you guys' enjoyment and for ours. So, so do you want to hint at what tomorrow is? What why we're putting out two videos tomorrow? Tomorrow is May the fourth, and if you don't already know where this is going, well, maybe you shouldn't be watching this show. <laughs> Um, tomorrow is International Star Wars. Is it National or International Star Wars? It's. I'm gonna call it International Star Wars Day. It's that important. Um, uh, it's May the Fourth, so May the Fourth be with you. May the Force be with you. Um, so we will be putting out two videos, and um, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna say no. anything else about them. We're doing some cool stuff. That's it's it. It's definitely worth a watch, though. It's. Yeah, it's definitely going to be worth every penny that we put into it. <laughs> but really, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to be fun. We, and I'll be honest, some of it we don't know what we're doing yet, but we will do it, and it will be fun, and you guys will love it. So, that's a promise. So, also, in these in these next couple of days, there's, a, there's, a, there's another movie coming out on Thursday. There's a movie. That's coming right. Out. Yeah, they're coming out this Thursday. Um, Civil, uh, uh, Captain America: Civil War. Have you seen the trailer? Yes. Okay. Have you? Did you see the newest one? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, your thoughts? It's it's gonna be interesting. I actually kind of was thinking about what you said yesterday about Spider Man. Okay. Already. Yeah. Do you, you want yeah, to go ahead and talk? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and talk. <sighs> Tell me if I'm wrong, but I kind of think that Spider-Man looks like a cartoon character. They say it's a costume. Uh, I, he doesn't look real uh, sitting next to any of them. He looks almost fake. He almost looks, like, looks CGI to me. Mm -hmm. and not just the co the colors. I was going to say, it might just be the colors. So that blue specifically it's is kind of what makes it stand out. very bright. It's very bright blue, very bright red. But it's not just that. 
it's the lines around him almost look, make him look fake. You know, like he almost looks like he has like 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 it almost looks like he, I don't know. He almost the proportions look kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Um, he just doesn't look proportionate. It looks like you know it looks like what they did with Green Lantern, where Green Lantern didn't have a suit. Ryan Reynolds didn't have a suit. He had like a skin. Mm-hmm. Like the green, you know. Um, I don't know. I, all I'm saying is this. He looks like a cartoon character to me. Yeah. And he sounds like a cartoon See, character. I, I, maybe that will be the, the thing that helps divide it from, you know, how dark DC's gotten in recent years. You know, we talked about it before is how dark it's getting. And well, maybe that will be part of it is keeping Spider-Man Spider-Man, you know? Keeping him that youthful... Playful character. Don't get me wrong. I would Spider-Man. Yeah, no, I, I don't get me wrong. Spider-Man's kind of snarky. He's kind of a smart aleck, and I like that about Spider-Man. Um, Do you think that this any- just this just sounded though like it didn't sound like Spider-Man. It sounded like a Ninja Turtle when he grabs. You did say that when he grabs right. a, what's his what's his uh, uh, Bucky, uh, Bucky, Bucky uh, Winter Soldier's fist, and he's like, "You got a metal arm? That's so cool, dude!" And I was like. That sounded a lot like a, like a Ninja Turtle, not like Spider Man. There's a difference that. between the two. <laughs> not so, much, but there not is. Not much, but you know, I like I like Spider Man, and I like that he's snarky, and I like that he's a smart aleck, and I like that he's youthful, mm-hmm. and I have no issue. I take no issue with any of that. Yeah. But there is a line, as you know, as wide you know, as, as thin as that line might be, there mm-hmm. is a line. If you cross that, you start going to like you know this kind of camp territory. The physical. Yeah, you start going to uh, like a like a Ninja Turtle. Um, we'll, but just, we'll, I, see. we'll we'll just see. see it. We'll um, see. I mean, it looks good. Uh, somebody, Black Panther looks like a badass. Yeah. Some he he really does look great. Something else that I'm kind of worried about with it is um uh. If, um, what's his name? Tony Stark's gonna be in it as Iron Man. He is. He is. How they're gonna clash his snarky, arrogant self with Spider Man, with the way they're representing Spider Man as a snarky, arrogant young kid. I think, I think Spider Man, because he's on Cap, he's on Iron Man's team, on Iron Man's side of the Civil War. Okay. I think he kind of looks up to Tony, and that's probably part of why he looks up to Tony. Because okay. they have that similar, um, they're Ego. both they're both very intelligent. Um, they both kind of have that snarky, smart alecky. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think he kind of looks up to Tony. Um, and that's probably why he joins Tony's side of the Civil War. Okay, um, I didn't know which side he was on. Thanks. Yeah, no, he's on the. Give scene. it all yeah. away. Well, it was not the second. That was not first trailer where yeah, he. Uh, you see them walking up. Yeah, they're coming at each other, and Cap throws a shield, and Spidey catches it, and. Mm-hmm. Or I think he doesn't catch it. I think he takes it from Cap. Yeah, something like that. You do. You definitely see Spider Man on top of a car. I think it was. Yeah, with the shield. shield yeah. Like, uh, I do shit. like his eyes move. The actual uh, the, the, the Spider Man eyes. Yeah, the Spider Man eyes. You know, really? The black, I didn't realize yeah, that. and he says something. His eyes are like this. See that? And then kind, they kind of squint. That actually worries me a little bit because that makes me think that it's CGI. Because how are they going to get a suit to go? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, but see, I like that because he does that in the comics. Yeah, he does that you know, like comics. when he surprises, you know, the, the things bug out when he's, you know, when yeah. But how does that work on? A I have no costume? idea. I don't know. Maybe it's part CGI and part costume. I don't know. I don't know. I, I you know, I, it, it's less. We'll just. Uh, <laughs> this is my dog. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, you know, I, I kind of wish they wouldn't have called this Captain America Civil War. They're Branding a Captain America movie, but let's be honest, it's really an Avengers movie. It's another Avengers movie. So they should have just said, let's go ahead and call it Avengers. I think they'll, call, they'll take like four people out and, to make it not Avengers. I don't think so. I think everything's in, everybody's in there. The whole cast. Yeah. Ant-Man's in there. Uh, you a, oh, I'm sorry. Vision. A, a lot of the, the um, Marvel movies recently have been very Avengers-centric. It's been kind of like everything's, a, everything's a, an Avengers movie now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, even the whole, it, all the movies that leading up to the Avengers had the Avengers at the end, because they had mm-hmm. Nick Fury or, or Tony Stark came in the one. Yeah, but they were still very much individual stories. Yeah. You know, this is very yeah, much... Yeah, but, but now it's all leading towards every story being its own story along with... I don't know. Right. I don't know well, I you know what? I don't... I, believe it or not, I actually don't have a problem with that. But let's just call it what it is. Well, something else I was thinking about is that they're all very Captain America-centric. 
He's in all the Avengers, obviously, but he's also got the movies that he has coming out. This is his third movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like Captain America is clashing with Avengers, which shouldn't happen because they're one in the, they they work together. Well, I mean, that's, no, the Civil War is based off the Civil War comic yeah, series, yeah. the comic arc. Yeah. Um, which I'm not going to give away the ending for anybody that hasn't read the comic arc, but the comic arc. Something happens at the end that I'm wondering is going to happen in the movie. Mm. Um, we'll see, I guess. I actually don't know. I've never Okay, heard. yeah. So if you don't know the arc, that's why I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, so, something, another movie that's going to be coming out, not as soon, mm -hmm. that we saw a commercial for that we just don't know how we feel about, is a movie called Keanu. If you haven't seen the commercial, go over and check it out. It's it's. It's pretty funny. It's, it's like Keanu funny. Reeves. It's spelled like that. Uh, K E A N U, and it's, it's Keanu Peele's it's, first feature-length film. And it's it looks hilarious. It looks, it looks pretty damn stupid. funny. It looks really stupid, and I think I'm gonna like it for that version. I think I'm gonna like it because I, it's really I think damn we stupid. See it in theaters. I think so too. Uh, it's, we can't take the kids though. We can take no, them. but it's still gonna be funny. It looks. It looks pretty damn And you know what? Just because the commercial's so new, let's not talk about it too much. Let's make... Let, you guys go and watch it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Um, I hope, unless you don't like the N-word being used at all, because it's used quite heavily and stuff like that. I, I'm not racist by any means. However, it is slung around a lot, and they do it in a comedic way, and it's kind of funny. So... That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, well, it's flung, flung around by Key and Peele. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's Key you know, and Peele. So, if you're not a big fan of Key and Peele uh, comedy, then you probably won't be probably a fan won't of be this. won't be a fan because it's a Key and Peele movie. If you're a fan of this as podcast, you probably won't be. A, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so, well, yeah, we kind of talked about Captain America Civil War. I, I, I want to talk about things real fast. Okay. I know we, I'm, 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 I'm bumping back over to Captain America Civil War okay. real fast, but really not that particular movie. But just the, the the superhero movie trend. It's a trend. Right. Um, That's all I'm going to say. It's a trend. It is a trend. We've had a hell of a lot of superhero movies, and we have a hell of a lot more to come. You know, DC's announced. Well, they have all the way through 2019, they have announcements. They have so. a, 2020 is the last one. Oh, 2020 is what it is. Right now. Right now. No, is the, is what You know, we have a... Uh, well, did you see a Doctor Strange commercial? Oh, yes, I did. I like, I love Doctor Strange, um, I and love Benedict Cumberbatch Benedict looks like a Cumberbatch. badass. Um, you know, I wish that they did a uh, Midnight Suns movie. That'd be cool. Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Blade. Ghost Rider is so underplayed, and of course they had him played by none other than and Nick Cage. Nick Cage. And those movies blew. I mean... And, except for Sam Elliott. When, yeah, well, when he like not he like takes out a he takes out a bad guy he's like you're going down and you're like really you get Ghost Rider on the Power class. Ranger line I mean like really it's like a com classic comic thing though to say yeah. but Ghost Rider though the character himself is one of my favorite he's one of the most he's probably my favorite superhero he's kind of an antihero right of all time. Just because of his aesthetic. He's a freaking flaming skeleton walking around in a biker jacket. Yeah, with a biker jacket and the leather. Yeah, he's a... he is a Honestly, Ghost Rider is probably the, in my the top... The Stairs. Is in my top five favorite wait, wait. superheroes of all time. Do you remember the Pen and Stare? The words? Hmm? Do you remember the Pen and Stare? The words? The... Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to get this. It's looking look into my eyes. Your soul is stained by the blood of the innocent. Yeah. Feel their pain. Yeah. Yes, I got it. Woo! All right, so I look. I know I I know I started the conversation about the superhero movie but trend. I'm gonna stop it. Yeah, but I'm gonna stop it. I do want to talk about the superhero movie trend because I do have thoughts on it. However, this is only you know a forty a forty minute show about roughly. I was just say it's been upwards of fifty um, four. And so we have other subjects to talk about. So I will get back to that another because I do have thoughts on the superhero movie trend. Okay. Um. So I think you said you wanted to talk about the news a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know what, there's two, two little things. Today is the uh, Indiana primaries. Yeah. Um, and so it'll be very oh, interesting. will be Let's very see. interesting to see. This is the big one. Yeah, they said, they said this is, I think the way they, I think the way, I think it was 
CNN that said it was the last true battleground. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong about who said that, but somebody referred to it as the last true battleground. It really is. I mean, because of the last. Well, usually by now it's kind of decided. However, Obama didn't get. Obama, I'm not trying to be that ultra democrat or something like that, but I'm just saying Obama didn't pull through until the end. Well, this is for the Republicans. Yeah, true. So, oh, it's just the Republicans. It's just the Republicans, I believe. See, I need to keep up on that. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a uh, this is just the Republicans. In case you didn't know, Bernie is catching up in delegates, regular delegates, pledge delegates, not super delegates, but those are not decided yet. They can say whatever they want. Whatever happens at the Democratic National Convention is what actually is going to happen. I'm not trying to be that guy. Not going. I'm not saying Hillary or Bernie on that case. I'm just saying. Stop pushing that. Something I think is very cool is Case at Cruz have made a pact to work as a team, kind yeah. of, um, to to uh, to fight off to the... fight off Trump. And I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of you know, we don't we haven't seen that in an election before. We've not. It's yeah, sad that very, we have to. This is a very new election. Um, we've seen things we've never really seen before. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be very you know today today's results tomorrow morning are going to be very interesting to see who comes out on top. And see what um, see what transpires. Yeah. So you know you know who I'm rooting for as far as Republican primaries go. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're rooting it, for Kasich. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Kasich, and for primary <laughs> primarily two reasons. He is the underdog, and in, in this whole fight, you know everybody's talking about Hillary, Bernie Sanders, and, and Trump, and Cruz, and Cruz. Nobody talks about Kasich. I I talk about. He's Kasich. stuck it out. I kind of want to be like you know I want I want I want you know. One, he's from Ohio. We're from yeah, Ohio, from and so Ohio. I'm kind of like, you know, oh, okay, Ohio. But also, you know, I want to see, I want that that comeback kid story, the Sea Biscuit. <laughs> you know, like, you know, he, you know, the the candidate nobody talked about, oh my and he makes it to the we White House. Like, how did that happen? You can make a video on it, like a short film, the candidate that nobody expected. <laughs> so. There's that. The other thing I want to talk about is today is the second um, sick day. Sick day, sick out is what they're calling it in Detroit. <clears throat> Nearly 1,500 teachers um, in I think 93 of the 97 schools in Detroit mm -hmm. have called off sick. 93 schools in Detroit are closed today because the, all the teachers have called off sick um, because the teachers found out in Detroit that, excuse me, they are only getting paid up to June 30th. And then the, there's a budget cut. So what I find interesting is that the teachers are taking action by themselves because they are unionized. Maybe they feel that the union didn't do this right. I don't, I don't know. know. I have to, we'd have to read in the story more. Maybe they feel that the union is involved. I don't know. Or you, you, the union messed up. So maybe this is part of the union. I didn't. I had you just told me about this a little bit ago, so I didn't know about this. I actually. just read about it a little bit, a little bit ago while I was, you know, I was drinking my coffee and re I wish I read the news in the morning. Okay. Um, and so I was drinking my coffee and reading the news, and uh, we when we started filming, I was like, well, I want to talk about that. Um, yeah. It's very interesting to be the 93 schools uh, essentially. All the schools in Detroit are closed right now. Yeah, essentially. Um, so very interesting. Yeah, that's that's just I. There's a reason why I'm not. I was I was never gonna be a teacher. Well, I was gonna be a teacher, but then when I actually started going towards college and I was thinking about college, I was like, I'm not gonna be a teacher. That's part of the reason is the the fact that education is being thrown around like a toy right now in right. the United States. So, education should be on top of the list. If education was ahead, we wouldn't have the, some of the problems we have today. Like, you know. So, also in the news recently, we've had a series, and I think everybody knows about this. Right. Everybody knows about this. We touched this. on it last week. Or well, yeah, we started to, and then we were interrupted, rudely interrupted, um, is a multitude of celebrity deaths. Um, when I say a multitude, I mean, it's, it's an, now, some people, there are people who are saying, well, this kind of happens every year, you just, it's more pronounced this year. I'm like, no, actually... There's a lot. The thing is, the names seem to be bigger. There's a lot of really big names. Just another one bites the dust. <laughs> I mean, one. Well, let's go. Name. You know, we got we have a little list compiled here. So why don't we go over and we can talk about you know? Yeah. So I'll let you go ahead and. Well, the first one was David Bowie. David Bowie. I don't know why we always said that in college, but he, you know, David Bowie was. If you don't know who David Bowie is, you're sad. Um. But David Bowie was a 
a musician and a and an actor. Sometime actor, yeah. And sometime actor. He was in um, a well known, well loved movie, Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. um, he's been in some other stuff I I, I know of, but uh, that's a role that a lot of people loved seeing him in. And it's a it's I think it's considered a classic movie now. I mean, it's it's a it's a well loved, well known movie. It's kind of weird for yeah. my taste, but. Well, don't forget the uh, Severus Snape himself, Alan Rickman, passed away. Yes, Alan Rickman passed away, and he's he's been in a lot of stuff. He wasn't just Snape. I grew up knowing him as Snape, but then I saw uh, Bottle Shock. Is that the one, is that the name of that one? Because there's a, there's, a, there's a bunch of different wine movies out there. I think it was Bottle Shock. That was the one that he's in. Can't remember the names um, with the movies. Is the one where he played a Frenchman who a French wine lover connoisseur who went to California and actually fell in love with the wine, fell in love with the place and all that, so. Uh, he was also the villain at the end, uh, uh, he was the villain in Die Hard. Yep. The first Die Hard. Uh, was he was in uh, Dogma. That was it. Yeah, that's that right, as the, meta, as the meta, uh, the, what are you trying I was going to say metronome, but that's a, that's a, <laughs> music. <laughs> it's a musical thing. No. I'm like, it's also the metronome, I know it isn't. No. Um, yeah, he, he's been in. He's the big angel. Yeah, he's the big angel. Um, He's been in a lot. He's he will be well missed. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> uh, Re, uh, Renee Angelil. He was Celine Dion's husband. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's sad. That's. Sad. Oh, Dan Haggerty, who was Chris oh, Adams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> we have a list. Here that we're using because it's just easier to compile it this way, but uh, than us having to write down every single time someone dies, which is kind of sad. Oh, there you go. I'll let you take that one. Oh, there's um, Glenn Frey. Uh, he died. He was a guitarist with um, the Eagles. The Eagles, yes. There was two people died from the Eagles though this year. I don't know if it is it going to tell us about the other one. Oh, probably will. Oh, no, not the Eagles. Two people died from Jefferson Airplane. And that's what I mean. Paul Kantner, which was one of the founding members of Jefferson Airplane, passed away. And the same day, uh, one of the original lead singers did. And I can't remember their name. Is that the No, this is this? Maurice White. See, they switched uh, that. Who is Earth, Wind, and Fire. And he passed. Was... See, they, for they forgot to mention that on for Jefferson Airplane, the one of the lead singers of Jefferson Airplane. They might Airplane, be up here a little bit. Yeah, they might. Usually, well, it's been going in order. Um, died the same day as the guitar, so um, that's uh, that's pretty sad, pretty interesting. Jefferson Airplane's oh, an older group. Um, I I know very little from them. However, I have uh, I saw them on the um, what's his name, uh, Dick Dick, the old show. Oh God, <laughs> I can't think. It's Dick something. There's something. I feel really. I'm gonna put it along the bottom of the screen here. I'll think. I'll, I'll, I can't think of his last name. Wow. He used to have all sorts of stuff now. Who's this? Uh, this is uh, George Kennedy, uh, who was an actor uh, in Cool Hand Luke. He was also in the Naked Gun series. Um, That's older too. Yep. So who's next? Who's next? You on? <laughs> oh, he's been in some stuff actually. Ah, Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan passed away. Nancy Reagan obviously is um, uh, Ronald Reagan, pre uh, President Ronald Reagan's um, wife passed away, and that's pretty sad. You know, first wife, pa uh, uh, first lady. I'm sorry, first lady passing away, um, and she was well known too. A lot of people around loved her when she was in. When she was the first lady. A lot of people around knew her. So, yeah, and that's still sad. I mean, yeah, no, it's still very incredibly sad. Every death is incredibly yeah. sad. So, uh, Patty Duke, who oh, yeah. won an Oscar at 16 for her role in The Miracle Worker. See, I won an Oscar at 16, too. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I keep going. This is horrible. Like, ah, I keep going. They're not important enough to mention. Merle Haggard. <laughs> They are. Just, some of these people I actually don't know. It's I know. It's mostly, it's not that they're not important, that they're not famous, anything like that. It's the fact that I only know a certain number of things. I, I have, I have a, we all have a finite knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're described there for a second. We all have a finite knowledge, and that's who I 
These are people that I know. Right. Um, Mo Haggard is a uh, country western star. Country music legend. I mean, yeah, yeah, country music legend. That's the way you have to say it. He is very, very well known. He will go down in history. Um, he is... He will be missed by many. Unfortunately, I don't know much by him because I'm. That's not the music I typically listen to. I do listen to some country western, um, just depending on different things. You know, I. It's not exactly my thing. I'll have to listen to him sometime. Maybe I like him. So uh, we lost uh, Dora Roberts, which is sad. For, uh, who was the mom and everybody loves she's been So she's been more than that. Well, I know, but she's that's been, the thing. Yeah, everyone know. Everyone loved her in that. Um, she she will be greatly missed. Uh, also, Chena, who was a uh, wrestler yeah. on uh, WWE. WWE. Uh, first or WWF. Female, was she the first female wrestler? I right? think she's an early female wrestler. And lastly, Prince. That's all I have to say about that. So, that, that was, was incredibly depressing. Yeah. But, you know. It's, on a happier note, though, we just went over our 750 mark on we views. did we did go over our 750 mark which is interesting because last week we mentioned that we just went over our 500, 500. so we actually added another 50 percent of that right yeah which is incredible I'm that means super we're picking excited. up a little bit I'm, I'm, I'm super excited i'm hoping that that means that eventually you guys will actually watch our whole podcast <laughs> <laughs> we look I, look I looked at some of the uh some of the little um the analytics of it, and they were saying like the videos that were being watched entirely were the sword videos and some of the Minecraft videos, but the videos that weren't being watched entirely were the podcast. Well, these so, are kind of a commitment, you know. These are yeah, I, I get. But you have to love the show, yeah, to watch us. So, although let's give a few shout outs here because uh, there are a few. And yeah. I want to start with I'll start with our mother um, because she has been watching the show in its entirety. Mm -hmm. um, when she first told us, I was like, ah, really, are you? And so I started quizzing her, and I was like, okay, yeah, you did watch the show. So a shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. Shout out to my coworkers. Okay. Um, obviously, jo uh, Josh Romack was on here, and we're hoping to have him again soon. Um, Josh, if you're watching this, please be on the show again. Um, we're hoping to have him on soon again. Uh, we had a lot of fun there. Um, and uh, but we a lot of my coworkers are watching it. I found out one of them doesn't like Josh. <laughs> she doesn't. Know yeah, that I like Josh. thanks, Dar. <laughs> Dar. I hear I'm not funny. <laughs> it's true. I'm kidding. I'm a but, funny uh, guy. I, I don't. I'm a funny guy. I just don't even. I don't even have the words. <laughs> yes, just, Dar. I told him that you said that I was comedic and that I should have my own segment. Um, <laughs> I just don't even have the words. Uh. We, okay, so another we've had some comments coming in. Yeah. Um, some positive oh, and comments. I want, to, I want to just shout out right now, oh. before we go to comments, all our new subs. Because we've gotten some new subs. Yeah, we've got some new subscribers. Four, since so anybody that is watching, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Uh, it is, uh, it's been awesome. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. It really so, means a lot. Um, in particular, there's been two people who have commented, and I, you know, we go ahead. Yeah, yeah. well, the first one, his name is uh, User. I'll say that. Yeah. That's how you say it. User Liam Friedman. I hope I pronounced that all correctly. That's usually yeah, we've had a few discussions content. with him. Yeah, about it's been on this is sort of like, Although he did say that he does, he's also watching the, the podcast. Right. I hope you're watching this, Liam. Here's um, a shout out. Here's to a shout out you. to you. But uh, uh, he's been he's def he, we've had some assuming it's a he. <laughs> just saying. Well, yeah, that's right because you know, it's a username. Yeah, and I'm not well, saying you're know, not a man if you are a man, which is most likely to your name. But <laughs> we just don't know. And so, now things just got incredibly uncomfortable. It did. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Liam, we have Liam user Liam Friedman. We have uh, we've been enjoying our comments from you, um, and we hope you've enjoyed our responses. Uh, we have been. Uh, responding on uh, as promptly as we can. I usually get them. I usually see them while I'm at work. I'm like, ah. Oh. Usually Josh responds to those right now because he's the one that's done the sword play video. Although in the future I will be in them. In fact, yeah. there's one we're putting out this week that I'm in. Right. So. So. And guys, keep commenting because we want to talk about the things you want to talk about, yep. and we want to address the things you want us to address. Anything. So my literally neighbor is anything. cutting her grass. Yep. Um. If you literally give us any subject. Even if we know nothing about it, I promise you we will talk about it. So, 
Our other comment, by and by, was from Gunny Sharp. Gunny he was Sharp. also on a sword play, and he suggested that we cut some melons. Cut some melons on this is sword play. On this and is sword so play, and we did. We did, and thank you, Gunny Sharp. Thank you. They have given us some pretty cool vids. So Something there's else. a shout out to you. Yep. Something else that we haven't. Uh, Something else we haven't really uh, touched on yet that he, nobody mentioned, but I said, why don't we try something? And we tried something that we I could not find anywhere. Now, it may be in existence. I'm not going to say that we are for sure, but I could not find anywhere that we are definitely not the first ones to do it. But we broke a coconut yesterday. Yeah. And you, Josh did it, and obviously you said you had a lot of fun doing it. I'm gonna do it. It was pretty satisfying. When you soon. came through, when that pommel hit the coconut, I was like, I was like, oh, that was satisfying. It was interesting because a lot of people, you hear people want to see a cut mountains. We don't mind that at all. However, um, the uh, you also hear a lot of times people mentioning the fact that melons are actually kind of easy to cut through. They're real easy to cut through. They, uh, there's really three accepted uh, method, uh, methods for test cutting, and that yeah. is water bottles, ballistic gel, and tatami and mats. Tatami mats. Um, cutting trees, um, cutting melons um, aren't really acceptable. You know, like cutting trees, if you're going to do destruction test or uh, strength test, yeah, that's one thing. But if you're doing a cutting test on a tree, yeah, it's not. That's not really truly a cutting test. And really, cutting through a melon isn't truly a cutting test. It's just um, fun. It's just fun to it, do. It's really satisfying. It's really satisfying. Just to psh so, um, but yes, something that and you also smells don't see. really good. That melon, I'm getting like whiffs of it. Really, I smell it too. Yeah, it's, it does smell good. But um, it, something that you don't see a lot is a test of the pommel strike, and I think we might have just created one. <laughs> if you pommel. can't, if your pommel can't properly break a skull, <coughs> excuse me, coconut, um, then then it's not it's not a worthy pommel, but. So yes, we did we did a, a, a pommel strike, and it was fun to film. It was fun to edit. If you haven't seen that yet, please go. If, if you can skip the rest of the review, just watch the cut test to watch for that. Listen to the epic music that plays during it. And all it's really fun. I really love putting those videos together. Um, so something else. And again, thank you to all of our subscribers. We thank you about, all by the way, I want to talk about one thing real fast. Oh, okay. Well, we. You know, we were talking about swords and cutting. Oh, thank goodness. Um, I hope that's not too loud. The, I hope the, it isn't. Yeah, my uh, my neighbor it. religiously mows her lawn while we're doing things. While we're doing things. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. She doesn't usually do now. Like the first hint of like grass getting too tall, and she's like out there. So she probably lays on the lawn every night and like measures, measures, the, mil <laughs> measures the millimeters. So um, we were talking about cutting with with swords. I want to mention I picked up a new weapon, something that's kind of a little outside my my range. Yes. Um, I picked up a Derringer from an antique mall. Yes. Uh, from the one that's here in town. And it is right. You want to grab right. that because it's kind of out of focus. Oh my mall. goodness! I just knocked my thing around. Oh, okay. So that is my Derringer. It now, is. Uh, it, you want to make mention that is not. It is. It says not, Philadelphia Derringer on the side, but it's not. It's a Dakar from Spain. Yes. It's a um, CVA. It's a CVA, which is. Uh, Connecticut Valley is Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut, Connecticut Valley, Valley Arms. Arms. Um, it's still it, it's a firing weapon. We don't know if it actually yep, fires it yet because we haven't tested it. Um, I'm going to be getting the stuff for it uh, probably sometime in the next week or two, and I'm going to do a review of this. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. And we're going to fire we're gonna it, it. Um, probably in the next month. Yeah, we'll um, shoot at each other because it'll just bounce off. <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's not obviously not. It's, it is a dangerous weapon. It's a dangerous live weapon. Yeah. So, um, but it is. That's what we have. Uh, well, that Josh has um, that he's gone. When did you get that, Josh? I got that in the, at the antique mall here, the old shoe factory. Old shoe factory, um, which was at one time an old shoe factory, as well. and now they've converted it into an antique mall. Yeah, and it's a really cool place. We've been going there for years, um, but we don't just go there. We love antiquing. It's mm -hmm. something we haven't really touched on that much. Touched on, I think, much at all. Um, other than last week, I mentioned that we got. So we went to the antique mall and I got that clock and all that. Right. Um, and we we really do love antiquing and we we will we've gone to antique malls all around here. We've gone to the one here in town. 
Um, there's another place on the other side of town that calls themselves Antiques. It's not really much. Um, but then we, there's a, we've gone down to Logan, the Rock Mill. Mm -hmm. we, we've been to a, quite a few antique malls. We got, we got our pipes there. Usually we get our, you know, obviously you got a Derringer there. Well, in the next month we're going to. We are going up north um, to see Michelle's family and we, while we're up there we're going to hit at least one we're hoping to hit multiple and it's supposed to be like the biggest and it's supposed to be one of the biggest it's supposed to be the biggest in northeast ohio in the northeast quadrant and it looks pretty ohio. big and it I looks mean, huge you can see it's called the i-76 antique mall and it looks like it belongs on a highway not on the road because it is Absolutely well, you massive. drive like you're, you know, you're driving on I-76. You're all driving on I-76, and you, it takes you like two or three seconds to pass it. I mean, you drove yeah, yeah, past the building. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. So um, I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah, we we are going to go. We're probably going to spend like a whole freaking day there. We're going to film a podcast, I think, up in that area. We'll probably be up there that Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to film my podcast up in um, in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. Um, we should definitely do. Oh no, we're going to one vehicle. Never mind. I was, I was thinking we could do uh, another uh, car this talk. Driving, yeah. Well, we could do that if we drive this is car around. Talk. So, we can't call it car talk. That's yeah, no, show. obviously that's an NPR, <laughs> NPR so, radio. Um, so, what is the best thing you found in an antique store? My life. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, oh man, it's a really hard question. Is it the best thing I bought or the best thing I found? Because a lot of times I can't afford what I well, yeah, no, I've There's been plenty of things I've seen like, oh, why? Why do I not have money? Actually, okay, I take that back. <laughs> I know the best thing I found price-wise and the best thing that I received, I didn't buy it because you bought it for me. I own a baby grand piano. Which you know about because you bought it for me. And I helped you haul that. That was, yeah. It was at a really incredible price. A really incredible yeah. price. And we have, if I can find it, I'll post it here. Um, a really funny picture of how we ended up driving home, which was really dangerous. But um, we drove home with it hanging out, hanging out the back side of the van with Josh sitting in the back, holding it like this. Whoops, I'm sorry. So... That was fun. That was fun. What is your favorite find and or buy? I might have to think about that and respond later about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. I, I don't know what my best buy has been. I did when Michelle was, uh, uh, Michelle and I were dating, I bought her a, uh, a, a Japanese Excuse screen me. from Japan. You guys don't have It was that. made in the 1940s. Excuse me. Um, probably best find. I, most interesting is, I don't know anything about it. There was a supposed training sword. That was at the Logan Antique Mall. It was I remember wood, that. Yes, it was a wood sword with a brass handle. I remember you talking but about. But I gotta be honest, I this? did so much research and I cannot find anywhere. It had like, it it had like official a markings. It had official oh. markings on it. So, but I couldn't find them. What? What, what is what that? that? I know what it is. What is it? It is time for another product vote, like we did M and M's two weeks ago. We have another vote today. What's the vote? For you guys. And it is on... Okay, now wait. Before we do this, we need to cut and do our weights. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now that was another one of our famously awkward cuts. <laughs> um, but we did wear ourselves. We, had to, we did it exactly the way we did last week. Right. I had... When, <laughs> when I weighed myself last week, when I was doing... Because remember last week was pajama week. I was wearing my bathrobe, and I wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> so <laughs> you weren't I, wearing boxers. I was wearing boxers. I wasn't yeah, like I was looking at you, watching you, you're like out or something like that. No. Um. I, so I just properly did it. I took off my my hoodie, and I took off my pants. <laughs> Got my weight. Um. What did you get? What are you at? I was last week at three eighteen. Yep. This week I'm at three fourteen. So. There's a four pound loss. Now I'm going to mention that today I am actually wearing shorts, which I never do. I love shorts. I don't really like shorts and I'm wearing shorts today. Last week I was wearing pants. So it's probably more of like a two pound loss than a four pound. Okay. So, but I don't care. A loss, a loss is a loss. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm totally happy with, you know, a two pound or a four well, pound. So 318 last week, 314 this week. Last week, if I remember correctly, I was 260. Mm -hmm. Or 260. Was it 260 or 262? Uh, 260, because I was down 12 for 272. I, I was at 260 last week. I am at 256 this, this week. 
Good job, so bro. I have actually lost four pounds because I'm very proud exactly of the same. And I can tell you I, I feel it because my pants don't fit anymore. They already didn't fit anymore, but now they're really not fitting anymore. They're, they're just sagging everywhere. So Good job. Thank you. So the reason why I mentioned that actually is because what we're doing the product, today, the, the, your the product, product has. that we were voting on. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask, what is it? I mean, is actually counterproductive to our exercise. And it is the Mountain Dews that they are vote, having people vote on right now. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Probably my favorite pop of all time. I was going to say, it's probably my favorite soda of all time. If I'm going to have to pick a soda, I, I really... But don't give preconceived notions because we actually have to vote on this. Now, unfortunately, Josh is not going to do a vote on this, so we're going to vote on it together because... Why? You don't have a Twitter. Oh, and no, I don't. And they're doing it on Twitter. It is a hashtag. Oh, you sons of... Yeah. Um, and the way you vote is you pick your flavor and then you hashtag your, your vote on Twitter at hashtag Baja Blast or hashtag Pitch Black. Now, this as far as I understand, Pitch Black has been a flavor on It has, a couple times, years. yeah. Be and then it was actually voted out. This is, I think, it's like second or third time that people have voted on it. Just keep, just keep, it's, yeah. you know, it's like if you, if you like the flavor so much, just, you know, just go ahead and put it out. Yeah. I think there's probably some CEO high up that really likes it, so they keep bringing it back to. I just want my, I just want my fix on the on the pitch black, because um, uh, it, it doesn't look good for pitch black right now. Because I think it's already lost like two or three votes or two votes. So, I, but but I've actually never tried it. Okay. But I will say I love the Baja Blast. I've, uh, yeah. That does kind of tell people that I've been to Taco Bell extensively. But um, there's some yeah. That Baja Blast is just so right on. So let's go ahead. Which one do you want to try? Well, let's try the Baja Blast. We already know what it's going to taste like. <laughs> like yeah. And I'm careful. It'd be great to see that on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. So this is pot. This is cheers. This is cheers. Ah, smooth and creamy. I'm kidding. You want to smell the cap? <laughs> Spit it back out so that there's no flavor <laughs> left over, like in a wine tasting. Um. God, I love the Baja Blast. You know, uh, Baja Blast is a was for a very long time a Taco Bell exclusive drink. Yep. And that's exactly what happened with Code Red. Code Red, I think, was only ever at Taco Bell for a while, and then is it became. Is Code Red still made? Co I don't think it is. I don't think Code Red is. I don't think Livewire is. For a while, they had. I'm pretty sure Livewire is. The I'll orange one. Oh no, no no! There's a blue one called something. No, Livewire was orange. Voltage. Code it's called Voltage. Yeah, Voltage. And Col uh, Livewire Live Wire was orange, Code Red was, well, red. Red. Um, and they, for a while there, they were coming out like all these funky colors and flavors, but... Um, 57. Oh, wait, that's Heinz. Okay. So this is the Pitch Black. Now, I've had this at least before, once. I've never had it. I don't know what it tastes but like. But I don't really remember what it tastes like okay. because... Okay, and? To life. <laughs> to life decisions. Grape? Is that what that's supposed to be? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be grape. It's not it, really satisfying with the Baja Blast. It's good, but it's not Baja Blast. Yeah, this one might hit the trash. I'll give it Us a do decision 2016. Do decision. Do no, it's do decision. See? Oh, yeah, do decision. Do decision. That makes sense. Like, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and vote for us. All right. And now I'm voting using my um, Twitter, my Twitter, which is uh, I'll tell you in a second the exact name. It is at Elijah Maffet. Elijah and Maffet are both catalyzed, but it's one word, obviously. It's that's right how it works. Yeah, on the screen. Um, and if you want to check that out, that's my photography. I haven't used it a lot recently. I've, actually, I haven't uploaded a lot to any of my photography stuff recently. I've been really focused on this, and I've been working a lot. At Kroger, so this is this is the, if you want to check out my my Twitter, that's where I'm at. I'm at Elijah Maffet, and it's my Elijah Maffet photography. You'll see a flower, and my uh, my signature picture is a um is a uh, fire hydrant. So let's go ahead and do this thing here. I'm going to write a tweet, and all it says is hashtag. Are we, are, are we voting the? I think Baja we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's hashtag vote is capitalized. I don't know if these are case sensitive or not. Hashtag Baja 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 Blast 
That looks about right. Yep. See, what's interesting is that I, uh... Why is that not showing as a hashtag? Oh, there it is. Okay. What's interesting to me is that I went to go type it in, I put hashtag vote, and Pitch Black came up as a suggestion, but Baja Blast, even as I wrote out the whole thing, never came up as a suggestion. That's weird. Maybe everyone's voting for Pitch this, Black. thinking that Taco Bell will keep this or something. I don't know. That's kind of depressing. That would be horrible. That would be horrible. I would really, <coughs> I'd really like to see this become a reality for us, because I would not drink it all the time because I'm losing weight. I'll say it that way. <laughs> but when I want a Mountain Dew, I don't always drink Mountain Dew. I but when I do... Yeah. I don't, I don't always drink Mountain Dew, but when I do, it's Baja Blast. Well, I think that's about all the time we've got. Yeah, um, hopefully this video is as good as eight or three. Our two favorites <laughs> so far. Our, two Our favorites personal so far. favorites. Yeah, personal favorites are eight and three. Um, and hopefully this is, I think it will be. Yeah. I feel good. So, well, until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this, this is Podcast. Hey, guys, this is Eli from This Is Podcast. Thanks for viewing this week's episode. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe on that little red subscribe button. And if you think your friends will like it, go ahead and share it all across the interwebs. Also, check out our new Facebook page. Well... I'm gonna go have some fun and watch a movie, I think. Did you say a movie? I, I did. For you. Thanks. <laughs>